All new tonight, concussions in football are front and center again after one of the biggest names in the game admits to a shocking injury. Traumatic brain injuries are not just confined to the National Football League. In fact, tonight, the concern about a dark side to the game and the lasting effects of taking hard hits. A report now from RTV6, Chris Prophet. Quarterback Brett Favre was football's Iron Man. And in a shocking revelation, the future Hall of Famer said in a radio interview this week that he's now paying for all of those shots to the head. I think after 20 years, God only knows the toll. This was a little shocking to me that I couldn't remember by a daughter playing view soccer. Favre's admission that he suffered severe memory loss comes during sports concussion era. The result, the NFL instituting new rules and penalties for concussion type hits, and the league will pay out more than three quarters of a billion dollars to former players to settle a lawsuit without admitting any guilt. Former Indianapolis Colt Ken Dilger had four known concussions during his career. Who knows what's going to happen to me in the future, whether I will have any brain damage. <laughs> And this is where it starts in youth football leagues, where for parents, it can be a balancing act between protecting their children and allowing them to play in the nation's most popular sport. Even at this level, the hits can be hard and concussions are not unheard of. It's, it's a scary game, but I mean, uh, the thing we got to think about is let the, kids, let the kids have fun and uh, safety comes first. That's the most important thing I look at. I try not to shelter him too much, but when you when you play football, you have to know the consequences and things that's going to happen with this. Brett Favre is the latest example of what can happen as the game at all levels is under scrutiny to make a violent sport safer for the long-term benefit of its players. Chris Profit, RTV6. And as we told you early this month, a second lawsuit has been filed against the Indianapolis-based NCAA on behalf of former players who suffered concussions. The suit claims that the NCAA did not do enough to protect players from concussions, leading to long-term health problems.